Hey Wilson, just a quick video here to show you how I do my boundary tracking and stuff like that in After Effects, just using everything in After Effects. I don't use Mocha or anything like that. And this is generally the end result you can you get. So this is in full, this is 4K footage in log. Uh, sorry, it's just 4K footage straight out of the drone. Um, and as you can see, it's just a simple orbiting shot. So I'll, I'll do it from the start and I'll show you how quick and easy it can be. And you're just going to go to track and stabilize track camera. So <clears throat> it'll probably be quicker if it's in 1080p, but you know, whatever you have is whatever you have. Um, so I'll come back to you once it's finished tracking and then I'll run through the steps. A few moments later. All right. So the camera is finished tracking. It took like maybe like a minute and this is once again some 4K, 4K and it's about 200 frames. So once we have it tracked, you'll get your uh, tracking markers down here. And I generally, I'll just find somewhere relatively, relatively clean. Like, so I'll just select that, right click and create solid in camera. So don't worry if it's kind of skewed. Um, you just want to make sure that it's the square is staying in place. As you can see, it is. Go back to the start. And then what you want to do is you want to press S to bring up the scale properties for the solid. And then you're just going to scale that to cover the property boundary wherever you may have it you just want to double check to make sure that's not slipping we might have to do some you know manual shifting it's not a big deal normally nine times out of ten it gets a pretty good result and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide the solid layer and then i'm going to get the pen tool I'm going to create my mask and you can do this as you know precise or as rough as you want i'm just gonna do it fairly roughly and then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll just add some points where I need to and you know just adjust things where need be all right so now you just want to turn on the solid layer and just make sure that there's no drift no sliding or anything like that um, as you can see over here the mask because it's a 2d plane it's not um there's no perspective uh, which is super easy to fix you can just um Bring up your mask properties you press m to bring up your mask mask parts um, and turn on the keyframes then i'll select select the arrow and then i'll come in deselect it click on it and then i will start on the first frame go to the last frame where it does a lot of the slipping you know just because the mask hasn't been um, motion tracked and i'll just clean it up and so now, as you can see over here, it kind of, like, it gives the illusion of perspective. Um, so what you want to do then now is click on the solid again, and you just want to add the stroke effect to it. So this is just going, as the name suggests, adds a stroke. Now to get rid of the solid plane in the middle, you just go down to paint style and change from on original image to on transparent, and that's going to get rid of the solid. And as you can see now, you have pretty much a perfectly tracked, perfectly tracked boundary. Like there's no slipping or anything like that. The only thing that's really happening is up in this corner. Um, you could just adjust the mask to stay on the point there. Um, but then after that, what you can do, if you want to add some movement to it, you can then add, add effects and stuff to it after that. So what you could do is just put a keyframe on the end and put it to zero and they come all the way to the end and then move it forward and then what you're going to get is you're going to have that uh the stroke animate um so big time saver and i found that's a that's a nice way to get um like your boundaries to stick um and then you can do whatever you want with them you can animate them and stuff like that you can um and because you have all the tracking data there you can then animate your pins to like say you want them if you want them to drop in or something like that you know Anyway, if you have any questions or queries, give us a bell. Peace.